This is a common place to get something, if they stick their head through wood and get a splinter in it in an abscess. Mm -hmm. It's also a common place if they get a briar or something that they eat that kind of migrates through their esophagus and you end up with a, uh, an abscess that tries to work its way out. So mm -hmm. we'll clean it up, take a little, see if we can get anything out of it first. Uh, you could also stick, you could stick an ultrasound on it if you wanted to. There's a nice soft spot right mm -hmm. there that uh, we'll try to, try to focus our efforts on. We'll let her hang out there. I don't know if I'm in your way. I'm going to focus the effort. I'm going to stick a needle in it first. 16 gauge, one and a half, because it's usually very thick. And I'm out of here, I'm out of range. One, two, what I'll do is find my place. One, two, three. Syringe to see if we can't get anything out of it. It's super, super thick. Yeah, so it's, you can see how thick it is on the tip of it. And so, so it won't come through a needle very easily, <laughs> but. Uh, these are abscess walls are incredibly difficult to get numb because they're super thick. It's a big area. I'll attempt it just to kind of numb the skin a little bit. We're going to stick a scalpel in it, open it up um, with a little bit smaller needle and try to pop that just underneath the skin. Like that. And we'll infuse a little bit in there. Yes. If you can, pull it back. Yeah. And then we'll try to, try to give her a little relief. She's not even. Sometimes we'll just cut it because it's. There we go. I got something on around there. All right, darling. That fan. So I'm gonna go up to that same kind of spot, and you may even still be able to express some out of it. Yeah, it's like a custard machine. All right. And then I'll kind of mark it. One, two, straight in. One. And that's okay. And. Um, Got our place started there, and I'm going to try to bring it just a little bit more forward. It doesn't feel good. I'm going to start. Okay. So a quick slide. We need good drainage, and um, literally, it's literally like custard. You're going to feel better. You're going to feel better. And then what we'll do is. Um, We'll just flush that out vigorously here. Oh. And, uh, <laughs> you said you were ready. <laughs> it's like a bail uh, and, um, and usually they'll, they, um, if it's from mouth, it's nasty and anaerobic and stink. There's absolutely no smell of that at all. Okay. So, um, so that's that's good, Katie. Um, if you want to flush there, we're just going to lavage this with a little bit of. Uh, hide on water. Just go for it there. Everybody should be nice and safe. Hang on. There's going to be some real thick cut. She's more freaked about the fluid than anything. I don't think she's in a great amount of pain. Okay, let's stop. I'm going to see if there's any big thick chunkies that are blocking the hole. I don't know. Pancake batter. Somebody needs to get that horn. It's going to feel better. Let's 
just uh, unhook my knot there, pull a little bit tighter. Keep the tension there. Bring the free end through for her. Yep, the loose end, just bring it through the bottom right there. And keep your tension on it and lock it down. Then we have to flush out. Just a little bit left on this side. Should be good. I'm out of the way now. Lots of pressure. Shrink up, the skin will go back down. And I try to make this hole just a little bit bigger so that it's not close enough. Oh. And I'm going to try to make these kind of X incisions um, if they're, they're slower to heal. And if she builds up pressure, uh, it'll pull it back out. I don't think it will. But that'll be it. And then the last thing I'll do is just give her a little something to keep the maggots out of it. Okay. Uh, that's all she needs from me.